Hey guys, this is part two in my Office Worker Athlete series, and in this video I'm, I'm going to be going over targeted strengthening techniques. So basically I'm going to show you how to strengthen the muscles that are going to be weak in the majority of you that work a lot and have a 9 to 5 job. So uh, basically I'm, we're going to be focusing a lot on the gluteal muscles, the, your butt muscles essentially, the muscles that run up your spine, uh, and your neck muscles. So if you haven't had a chance to check out part one, you can click right here to do so. All right, so let's get started. All right guys, so basically when these muscles are weak on you, uh, the gluteals, the spinal erectors, and the neck deep cervical flexors in here, this is what happens. You end up standing with your butt out, shoulders collapsed, and head forward like this, okay? That's a horrible position to stand in and uh, you need to fix that. So. Basically, by strengthening those, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to bring that pelvis into a more neutral position. Your spine is going to be in a neutral position. You're going to be in thoracic extension here, chest out, and your head is going to be resting on top of your vertebral axis, which is basically just a vertical line that runs up and down your spine, and that's where you want to be. So this is a great exercise to activate your butt muscles, okay? So I've showed this one in, in videos in the past, but this is basically what you do. You get a bench, you put your shoulders on the bench like this, your hips are off the bench, you're basically gonna let them sink down, <sighs> exhale, pop your hips up as high as you can, squeezing your glutes, okay? Inhale on the way down, <sighs> exhale on the way up. <sighs> to make this a little bit more difficult, you can rest a plate, like a 25 pound plate or a 45 pound plate on your pelvis. So these are another great exercise for strengthening the gluteals and also strengthening the transversus abdominis uh, simultaneously. Basically, the benefit of this exercise is that it takes your pelvis from a neutral, a neutral pelvic position or a anterior pelvic tilt into a posterior pelvic tilt. And so it basically tilts, tilts your pelvis backwards, which is really beneficial to people that sit a lot because most likely theirs is tilted forward. So this is the exact opposite motion and this will actually strengthen the muscles that pull the pelvis in the exact opposite motion. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to cross your arms like this, okay? You're going to squeeze your butt as tight as you can and lift the front of your pelvis up like this, okay? It's, I know this kind of looks weird, but basically you're going to squeeze your butt as tight as possible, you're going to suck your stomach in as tight as possible, and you're going to tilt your pelvis up like this and hold this as tight as you can, sucking in and squeezing your butt as tight as you can. Hold that for about 30 seconds. You can do three sets or so of that. So another main area where a lot of desk workers are going to be weak is in the thorax, which is basically from the abdomen here up to the neck, right about here. A lot of people are stuck in flexion, thoracic, thoracic flexion, which looks like this, okay? Working at a computer, doing pretty much anything at work will kind of put you in that position. So what's really important is to have the ability to extend from the thoracic spine like this, okay? And a lot of times those erector muscles on the back of your body are weak and they prevent you from doing that. So one way that, that's uh, really good for kind of training those muscles while working the scapular retractors, which will help keep your shoulders set back, are called banded distractions, or uh, dislocations rather. So basically you're gonna grab a band, it could be any band, you can even do this with a towel or a rope or something. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, start out wider, because this exercise is always easier, wider, but you're gonna take it behind your head and touch it to your butt on the other side, and then bring it back up, okay? Like I said, it's always easier wider. As you get better, you can bring your hands in, but it's always harder here, so start out wide. But basically, this is great for a lot of reasons. One, it forces you to extend from the thoracic spine, leaving your chest and your rib cage out like this. It stretches the front of your body, your front delts and your pecs, and it also strengthens the muscles in between your shoulder blades, your rhomboids, and your mid traps, okay? So this is a really great exercise for forcing yourself into thoracic extension. All right guys, so lastly, I'm gonna show you how to strengthen the deep cervical flexors, which are in your neck here, and they actually pull your head back so that your, your head is more on top of your spine, okay? So basically what you need is just a wall. It's pretty simple. You put your back against the wall, tilt your head down about 45 degrees, and then push back with your head like this and you keep pushing into the wall, like you're trying to give yourself as many double chins as possible. So basically, you just hold this for about 30 seconds. You can do about 
two to three sets of that, you should start to feel the muscles in the front of your neck here start to fatigue. And by strengthening those up and releasing those muscles back here with like massage, you're really gonna manipulate and be able to control that, the position of your head better. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe and also check out parts one and three over here on this side. Um, see you next time.